In this video, we discuss how to get started with Web3. And senior developer Shelton Johnson shows us how. Welcome to How to Business, I'm Frederick Weiss. And today we are talking with senior developer, Shelton Johnson. Welcome to the show. Glad to be here. Yeah, super happy to have you. Shelton, before we get to our topic, do you mind telling us a little bit about yourself? So I'm a senior developer. I've been developing for maybe 17, 18 years, back when web designers were just web designers, not front end and back end. And I transitioned from being a web designer to a front end designer to a full stack developer. And that's what I've been doing. Moved from Las Vegas to California and now I'm in Atlanta and now I'm transitioning to be a blockchain developer. That's excellent. And yes, I also, to date myself, remember the time when it was uh, web developers, not front end developers, yeah. the good Things old changed. early, yeah, the, the early 2000s. So why don't we get to our subject here, which is pretty exciting. It is how to get started with web three. First off, what exactly is Web3? Web3 is basically a decentralized internet for the people, by the people, owned by the people. <laughs> so it's kind of like the end of Silicon Valley, but real, which is super interesting in a way, but I guess without the rats, uh, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the show. So what does this have to do with things like blockchain, AI, NFTs? What's the correlation here? So we look at the blockchain is like a, a database, a decentralized database that cannot be changed. And if you think about it like that, then it's just easier to fathom about what a blockchain is. And basically dApps, decentralized apps, live on the blockchain. They're like, they're in smart contracts. Smart contracts are scripts. If you just place a script on the blockchain, you can execute that script and you can use that to power whatever. If you're moving money around, that's inside the smart contract. So, and that lives on the blockchain. Would this be a safer internet more secure with blockchain technology or does this prevent security challenges in its own right security challenges removed from like hackers because there's a lot of people out there doing some malicious stuff in the web 3 because it's decentralized it doesn't have a central head to stop stuff to block stuff to censor stuff so the bad side of web 3 is decentralized it's good and interesting bad. so with the decentralized part of it what are some of these business challenges as far as security. If I wanted to invest in this for my business or for myself as a creator and I want to get started, what are those unique security challenges that I should be aware of? You want to make sure that you keep your private key to your wallet safe and you only want to share your public key. And you want to make sure that you're dealing with legitimate organizations. You want to learn how to read smart contracts to know about smart contracts because that's the basis of web three, the decentralized apps. You can look at a smart contract and tell that if it's doing some malicious stuff, all the code is available. If the code is not available, that means the contract is not verified on the blockchain and it should be, it should cause some red flags. Interesting. All right, then why don't we talk about the positive side here? How does web three empower a business or a creator to interact with their audience? So the benefits of Web3, you'll be able to have more control over your information. And also, you'll be able to have more control over your digital assets. Music, videos, artwork, you can put ownership on it. You can mark it. You can stamp it. That's what NFTs are about. NFTs are not necessarily about the actual image that you're getting. It's about proving ownership of that NFT. So you mentioned digital assets. If I own a digital asset, if I own the NFT of the Mona Lisa, for example, is there an opportunity for me to make royalties off of this? Yes. People in uh, Decentraland, they actually have NFTs of jackets that they rent out to other people. And this certain jacket allows you to be a dealer or have a, or own, have a certain job in Decentraland. And so people actually rent out their NFTs and earn residual income from it. And that just is when you, once you start thinking about that, you start thinking about actual jobs in the metaverse. We haven't touched on the metaverse yet, but that's a big thing too. And that's all intertwined with the Web3 metaverse, blockchain, and NFTs. 
So it's a world of opportunities out there for us. And this is the gold rush right now. This is the time to get in. Mm. Even if you don't understand it, like just because you don't agree with it or you don't see the logic of why someone should pay a half a million dollars for an NFT image, it doesn't mean that it's not happening. It's still happening without you. You just need to get in there and get involved and see what's going on and follow the money. And eventually you can see the logic because eventually we're going to be doing on the blockchain is going to be all type of assets, real estate, cars, but so many things are going to be on the blockchain. They're going to use that same technology and it's, it's time to get in now and, and get used to it. It's like you said, it's a good time now to start thinking about all these different things that could be possible. Now, with all that being said, could you provide me a real world example of a business that somebody could start right now leveraging Web3? So I think everyone should start by creating their own token. It's very simple. You can find tutorials on YouTube and it takes 10 minutes. You can use an online ID by the name of Remix and just paste some code in there and enter how many tokens you want, what, what you want the name to be and what you want the ticker to be and generate that token. Once that token is generated, if you, once you have MetaMask installed, you can send that token to whoever you want to. So just understanding, creating a fake token that has no value to it. And just by sending it around, I think that'll get you started understanding how web three works, how the blockchain works, how cryptocurrencies work. Shelton, thank you so much. And I'd like to provide you an opportunity for some closing words of wisdom for our audience. So I like to say, just don't invest more than you're willing to lose, but don't be afraid of it. Just get out there and get your feet wet and just do your research. Be careful with tutorials telling you to send money or people telling you to send money in random places. Make sure you do your research and just get involved. Good advice. Jump in the water and get wet. That's how you learn, right? By doing things. That's excellent advice. Thank you so much, Shelton. And Shelton, where can people find out more about you? How do they discover more about you and what you're doing? Yes. Well, I'm working on my YouTube channel to educate people on cryptocurrency and the web three and blockchain and uh, how to do certain things like create your own token, mint your own NFT, deploy a DAP on the blockchain, but it's still under construction right now. But if you go to sheltonjohnson.com, I'll have all the links there. Excellent. Shelton, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Really appreciate it. And thanks for sharing all this amazing context about Web3, what it is, how it works, and some of the cautionary tales too. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Shelton. Thank you for having me.